Hey there YouTube fans, AC Productions here and today I'm going to be showing you on how to remove the check engine light from your R3. If you've ever had this happen to you where you turn on your bike and you get a code that says 24, well that 24 code means it's something with your oxygen sensor. So in order for us to check that we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the source of where your oxygen sensor is and it's located on the right side of your bike. And if you go down here, what you want to do to best find it, it's right there, it's located right on your exhaust pipe. So to get to the connector, just follow the cable alongside over here, and here it is. Here's the connector for your O2 sensor. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and disconnect it and then plug it back in and see if that takes care of the problem. If it doesn't take care of the problem, it could be that the O2 sensor is a faulty sensor. Okay, in order to remove the plug for the oxygen sensor, you're going to need something flat typically a screwdriver so just go ahead and put it under here and then pop it up and that will open up the clip just push it in all the way next we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and unplug it as you can see it came off pretty easy so here it is this is the oxygen sensor then here's where it connected to so let's go ahead and uh, plug it back in and see if that gets rid of the code so go ahead and put it back in and then close the clip make sure make sure you hear that click okay now let's go back to our bike let's turn the key and see if it got rid of the code Okay, now that the bike is neutral, let's go ahead and start it up and see if the code goes away. Okay, code goes away, but the check engine light, as you can see, is still on on the left side here, which is the orange. Alright, so let's uh, check a different method and see if it makes it go away. If not, we're going to go ahead and replace the O2 sensor. Okay, in order to remove the oxygen sensor uh, from this location, what you need to do is, on this part, there's a little clip here that's actually not, uh, you can just move it open. So just put your finger in there and just, and just pull on it a little bit. Don't pull on it too hard because you can't break the tab. So just pull on enough so you could free the wire. Once you free the wire, all you do is just loosen up this screw right here, which is a four millimeter Allen key. So let's go ahead and uh, take that screw out. Okay, next, now that we already have that part open, as you could see, I could see that the rubber boot looks like it actually tore. It could be that that's, that's why the we have the check engine light. So as you could see, it's, it's ripped here. So I'm not sure if that's the cause and why we're getting that check engine light. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and replace it anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this bolt here. This is also with your four millimeter Allen key. Let's go ahead and remove that. That will give us better access to get into the area where the oxygen sensor is. Okay, so next we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and remove that uh, oxygen sensor. If you have an adjustable wrench like this one, it's be best because sometimes you could have uh, different sizes of uh, oxygen sensors and if you don't have the right tool, it'll become, become a little bit tricky to get the right one. So an adjustable one wrench works pretty well because you can adjust it to any size. So let's go ahead and uh, break that loose. Came out pretty easy or just with a turn. So go ahead and start turning it. It might be a little bit hard, so you might want to use the wrench until it becomes easy on removing it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and <clears throat> keep using the wrench to I'll loosen it up until it completely uh, gets more easier for me to remove it. So now just mind you that this oxygen sensor is the one that came with my aftermarket exhaust from the two brothers racing. So this is not my original oxygen sensor. Alright, so let's go ahead and remove that. Alright, so now we removed it. Wow, this thing is really black. Hmm, interesting. And I still have my original oxygen sensor. And you can see how much more smaller it is. Let me zoom out actually. So you can see the differences in the oxygen sensors. Alright, so now that we removed it, I know that my stock oxygen sensor is not going to fit in the hole because the threads are bigger. And now see when you see when I put it in there, it's too small. So this one's too small, but luckily my, my uh, Two Brothers Exhaust did come with a bong, what it's called, so you can fit your stock original sensor on there. So I'm going to go grab that and then we'll install our original sensor back on. Now this adapter is so you could put your stock O2 sensor into the oversized hole for uh, from the exhaust pipe. So before we put this actually on there, what we're going to do is we're going to put some anti-seize lubricant right here. So a little bit of anti-seize on this, pretty much on, on all the threads. So we're going to put some anti-seize here and some anti-seize here. And then we're going to go ahead and, and put it onto the exhaust pipe. So it also comes with this crush washer, a copper one. So we're going to go ahead and put that on there right now. Actually, we're going to go with first putting the anti-seize onto our stock O2 sensor. Now, when you get it out of the 
container make sure you wipe some of the access onto the to the opening because you really don't need that much so just gonna go ahead and wipe a little bit like I said you don't have to glob a whole bunch on there you just want to make sure you just coat a, a light coating onto the threads of the O2 sensor now this, this will just prevent some rust occurring onto the O2 sensor so therefore it will make it a lot easier if you ever need to remove it like we did when we removed this one it was pretty fairly easy because I did use this anti-seize uh, prior to doing my installation when I did do that video so that's pretty much all that you need to use so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and thread the O2 sensor onto this piece so I figure right now I'll just make it easier now if you're wondering what size the the nut is over here it's a 22 millimeter size for your wrench now we could just go ahead and uh, thread it onto the, the exhaust so make sure that the, the copper spacer is on there okay now let's go ahead and uh, put it on there now make sure when you start threading this you're holding the cable on top and spin it while you're spinning the bottom part because you don't want to spin it and have the cable in one position because then you're going to mess up the cable as soon as you find it all right so as you spin the bottom make sure you hold on to the top and spin it along with the top too so make sure you don't have one thing spinning and not the other so go ahead and keep doing it until you get it tightened then use your wrench to tighten it all the way okay so when you tighten down this bottom nut don't forget once you get this bottom nut tight don't forget to also give it an, another few turns on the top o2 sensor to make sure both of them are tight together okay so next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug our stock o2 sensor back to its stock port on the bike okay so let's go ahead and right now let's go, go ahead and uh, put our cable back on this uh, clamp here so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the same thing like we did last time and we're just gonna go ahead and loosen the screw all the way and then uh, put our our cable so let's see all right so we're able to not take it up all the way and just go ahead and slide that part over the cable through back there and then go ahead and tighten down the screw so once you tighten this one down you could go ahead and put it behind this one up here and same thing on the tab just push the tab in and make sure it's uh, securely holding down the cable once it's securely holding down the cable you're okay to go there so i'm just going to go ahead and tighten down this bolt down here all right so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug this back into our stock port uh, now for this part over here you don't have to worry about because this one is for o2 sensor for the auto tune Okay, since we're done down here now, all I do is just go ahead and let's put our cover back on. Let's grab the screw, poke it through, and then go ahead and uh, tighten down this uh, bolt. Alright guys, since it's been a while since I've actually worked on this side with the O2 sensor thing. Uh, to get to the O2 sensor, it is behind your coolant reservoir, which is right here. So you have to remove the triangle piece, which is right here, and then you got to remove this little side panel. Then you got to get to your coolant and remove that, and the connector is going to be right behind there. So that's uh what we have to get to so we could uh connect our stock o2 sensor back to its original location okay so for this part of the install we're going to be outside where there is more room and more light okay so first off first is what we're going to do we have already removed this triangle piece which is right over here so next we're going to remove this uh little z pillar and by doing so we're going to go ahead and remove the screw down here and i think we should be okay with just removing that screw just kind of get it out of the way but if anything we need to remove the whole thing There'll be a screw right here, a screw down there, and a little screw over there at the bottom corner, which is right down there. Okay, once you remove that screw over here, you're going to notice that there is a 10 millimeter screw right back here. So you're going to have to go ahead and remove that screw also. I think you probably get away with leaving those two screws down there. Okay, so once you get that bolt out, you're going to go ahead and you're going to slide this out. And then you're going to grab your coolant reservoir and you're going to slide that out as well. Go ahead and slide it out like so. And then if anything, we're going to also pinch these two little cables together. And that's going to release the hose so we can pull the whole reservoir out. Just make sure that you're careful on not spilling any coolant out. Because if you do, you're most likely going to have to go in, uh, to the store and refill it. Uh, get a new, some more coolant to refill it. So just be careful in that department. Needle nose pliers needed to uh, pinch these two clips together to uh, loosen it up so we could take out that hose. Okay, once you remove the, the hose for the coolant, just go ahead and put it off to the side. Make sure you don't lose that little clip that's there. Sorry guys, kind of limited on uh, viewing because I'm trying to do it without removing so many parts. But as you can see inside here, there's this like plastic covering section. So this is the area that we need to get to. And we're going to go ahead and uh, remove this plastic covering. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually remove the coolant altogether because it is kind of in my way a little bit. So I'm just going to actually remove it from these, this little clip right here. 
So that little clip, I'm gonna get my noodle nose splices, pinch them together and remove the clip, and put this off to the side, that way I don't have to worry about it spilling uh, any coolant on the floor, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it off to the side. All right, so guys, I'm going mobile here, see if I can show you the connector that we're looking for. So once you open up this little plastic clear covering, you're gonna notice that there's this one, this one is a two pin, definitely we're not looking for that. So we're just gonna keep looking around, and there it is. Now this is the, the cap that came with our auto-tune, which instructed us to put this kind of plug onto the connector for our stock O2 sensor. So this is the one we're looking for, so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to remove this little clip, and then we're gonna stop, we're going to plug our stock O2 sensor back to this connector. So once we remove that, we're gonna go from the other side, because you can kinda of see through here, and uh, we're gonna fish our, our uh, O2 sensor cable through this area to connect it right back here. Okay, so. Now that I got the cable coming out from this side, here is our stock O2 sensor cable. And if you look in here, get a good shot for you guys. And right here is our connector. So now we're just going to put this connector into this connector and, and then install it and make sure you hear the click to make sure it has a secure connection. Once you do that, then you can go ahead and you could uh, pretty much put everything right back to how you uninstall it. Actually, before we put everything all back together, I want to go ahead and start the bike and see if it removes the code and makes sense to see if that was the, the cause of the problem to begin with. I know it was oxygen sensor. So we still see the code there, but let's go ahead and turn on the bike and then let it run for a little bit and see if the code uh, goes away. All right, looks like I may have to ride the bike around a little bit uh, to see if it just needs to circulate through the system. And uh, I'll have to get back to you to see if it removes the engine code. All right, guys, now I've, uh, I, I went to go ride the bike around a little bit to see if that would actually clear the engine code after reinstalling the, the factory O2 sensor. And now as you can see when I turn on the key, the check engine light uh, actually just went off. So that means that, that that's what it was. It was a faulty O2 sensor. And as you can see, I didn't go that far. I only did 1.1 miles. Pretty much just went to the gas station and back. So there you guys have it. That's how you pretty much clear out that code of 24. So 24 just means it's a O2 sensor. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. If you have any questions leave them in the comments below and if you haven't yet subscribed go ahead and subscribe so that we get my latest videos